Hi everybody, my name is Claire and I'm here to share with you one of my favorite Bible stories. So I'm going to read the story and then talk about it a little bit. And if you want to follow along while I'm reading, it is Luke chapter 10 verses 26 through 37. What is written in the law? Jesus replied. How do you read it? The Pharisee answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. But he wanted to justify himself, so he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbor? In reply, Jesus said, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So too a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he took the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. So in order to understand this story, there's a little bit of background that you need to understand. So the Samaritans were a people that weren't very well liked by a lot of others. They were kind of like the outsiders, the outcasts. Um, and so no one expected the Samaritan to be the one to help the man who was attacked by the robbers. Um, because he has had been so outcasted and, and uh, discriminated against by other people in that area. Um, but people who were supposed to be the good guys, quote unquote, it, the Levite and the priest, they didn't help the man. They just walked away from him um, and left him hurt on the side of the road, which none of us would like very much. If we were hurt, we would want someone to help us. But the Samaritan, a man who probably hadn't had a very easy life, was the one to help. And I think this story reminds us that there are a lot of people out there that are different from us, that maybe we don't understand or we don't have the same lifestyle as. But those are going to be the people in your life that maybe you can help the most, um, or maybe they're going to be the people that help you the most. It is important to realize that just because someone is different or maybe others see them as weird, doesn't mean that they aren't deserving of our love and of God's love. God loves everybody no matter who they are, and it's important that we try to be as much like Jesus as we can and love everybody we come in contact with. Even if it's a bully on the playground, even if it's someone who maybe isn't being very nice to you at school, these are all people that deserve our love and deserve God's love. So how can you go out and show God's love to other people? How can you go out and make sure that we are loving everybody as much as we love ourselves?